Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Hello, everyone from Strat School Academy. It is Mr. Jarvis here. Hope you're all well and staying safe. Um, we miss you all dearly, and we can't wait to get you back in school and in the classroom and learning. But what I am going to talk you through today is how the remote learning through Teams works and how you can access your assignments that teachers are setting for you so you know what work you need to do and make sure you do not fall behind in your learning in this um, difficult and tricky time we are going through. So first thing you need to do is get on Office 365. So just go to Google and type in Office 365. Here you can go straight to the Office 365 website. Oh, not that one. The one with the login. Here we are. So here you can sign into Office 365. So if I click here, you put in your uh, pupil email, which you all should know, which is your name followed by at stratfordschoolacademy.org. And then you type in your password, which is the same password you use to log in at school. So I just put in the password for this pupil. Then it asks you, do you want to stay signed in or not? That is up to you. If you stay signed in, your notifications will pop up on the web page. Um, and each time you come back to the web page, you won't need to log in again. I'm going to say no because obviously it's safer. And if you're sharing with other people in your household that are using Office 365, it can get a bit tricky. Now, once you're in, you can see in Office 365, there are all these different applications. Outlook for your emails, OneDrive to save your work, Word, Excel, etc. What we want and what the portal for our learning is off uh, Microsoft Teams, okay? So if I click on the Teams button here, it'll open up another tab and take you to Microsoft Teams. Load. And once it loads up, you can see we've got all our different classes. So we've got a few different ones here. And this is where you can have your classes and see your assignments and see posts from your teachers. So we can see we've got an assignment due or assignment has been made because there's a red dot there. So if I click on music, for example, this will take us to the main team page for that class. So here when assignments are set, they'll be posted up and you can see that and you can uh, just click that if you want to go straight to the assignment. But you can also see messages on here as well from your teacher that will be general about um, all the things going on. Now, we want to go to assignments here at the top to see what work we've got to do. So if we click on assignments, we can see we have got a lesson on rock and roll uh, that needs to be completed. That is due in tomorrow at three o'clock. Now, once you click on the assignment, this is what it looks like. So you'll have instructions of what to do. And it will be different for each teacher, but you follow these instructions of what you need to do. So in this one, we have to listen through the PowerPoint and answer the questions. So all the materials you need for the lesson will be in what's the reference materials down here. So for, uh, for the lesson, here is the PowerPoint and you'll be provided with a PowerPoint with a voiceover to talk you through and teach you uh, about your lesson. Um, so as you go through, you can hear Mr. Pitakala there talking through the lesson. Okay, and then as you go through, you'll learn the content and then you'll be given your tasks. And you'll then have this Word document here where you need to complete the tasks. The easiest way to do this is to download the Word document open it up in words and then in here you can edit it and uh, go through and edit the work, save it and then um, you come to re-upload. So if I go back to the page, once you've done your work and edited it, there is also a function in some uh, on some computers where you can actually just edit it in the uh, Teams, open it in Word on the uh, 365, which works very well as well. But for us, what we're gonna do is download it, do the work on Word, save it as a new file, and then we click to add work, okay? 
And here is where we add the work um, from wherever we've saved it. So if you've got it on the computer, you can click upload from this device and there you'll have lots of different things going on there, okay? And so you merely pick your document uh, and then click upload. So if I click new file, so this can be from your OneDrive and else. Once you've uploaded it, uh, let's just upload something here. Oh. And then once you upload it, you click done, and then that is that, okay? I'm gonna click cancel, so I don't want to upload it. Once your work is uploaded, and you can upload there the Word document, or for example, you may be given an, the music, you may be given a task of recording some of your a musical work if you have an instrument at home and uploading the audio. And then once you've done it all, you can click hand in here. And once you click hand in, that work will go to your teacher for them to give you feedback and grade, okay? Um, it's important you remember to upload your work before you click hand in, otherwise you're going to just submit uh, hand in the work with nothing there, okay? The other in feature there is if you can see here, there is this what's called a Rubik. If I click on the Rubik, this gives us our success criteria and what we need to do to meet the criteria uh, for the lesson. So you've got the four different criteria there and the marks that relate. And we can also see here that the weight of the rock and roll, the writing task is 25%. And then there is also an audio task of solo performance, which is worth 75%. You may have different criteria there, but this gives you the criteria. And then when it is marked, the teacher can choose what criteria you've met and how many marks you'll get. Um, in this case, it's a mark out of 40. And so when you get the work back, you'll get the written feedback and your mark that you have gotten. Okay. And that is it. There is also uh, different assignments as well. There is um, online quizzes, which you may be asked to do for your LSTs or your closure questions. And they are also very handy to do, accessed in exactly the same way um, and very easy you just go through complete the online quiz and it will um either automatically mark it or your teacher will mark it and hand it back to you like an assignment okay so if there's any questions please just email your teacher um and hope you are well as i say hope you um have fun working with all this uh new technology and accessing your work and as i say we look forward to seeing you very very soon